Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for lending me those ears. And if you're watching this on video, I appreciate your eyeballs. Now, let's get into some AI predictions. Here's my first prediction on AI, and I don't think I'm alone. The landscape, the job market is going to seriously shift and change. By that, I mean, if I can be so blunt, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs and these jobs are not going to come back and they're not going to be displaced. Let me explain. Not coming back means they're going to go away for a while then come back. They're not. They're not going to be displaced. In other words, because they eliminate your job, that you'll be able to move over to something that's over here that's easier. For example, when tech manufacturing started shipping overseas back in the 80s, people moved over into the service industry. So a new industry, crop industry built. I don't think you're going to see that type of movement, displacement with AI. And the biggest impact are going to be those folks, I think, white collar jobs. If you're in front of a computer doing some type of work, these are the jobs that are going to be AI'd out. If you're on the phone, those jobs are going to be AI'd out. Now, I'm not the only one making these predictions. Look at some of these numbers. I'll read some of these. Here's one talk, talk about how generative AI will change sales. 82% of sales leaders agree artificial intelligence will make sales and marketing more valuable. Yes, the AI will, right? Now, by the way, people using AI will also be valuable, but again, I won't need that many people if I'm leveraging AI. Here's a big prediction. OpenAI says 80% of workers could see their jobs impacted by AI. That's a very nice way of saying you might lose your job or it will be modified greatly. These are the jobs that are most affected. I think a lot of white collar jobs. Goldman Sachs made the biggest prediction here. Look at this, the potential effect on jobs, Goldman Sachs, 300 million full-time jobs could be automated. That's 18% of the global workforce could be computerized. Let me say this again, 300 million jobs globally, that's 18% will be impacted. This is a big number, and I think a lot of people don't understand because we've heard about AI in the past. We've heard about machine learning, rule-based system, knowledge-based systems. We kept hearing this about AI, right? But And most people say, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not really here yet. Oh, it's here. I think, again, going back to my previous podcast, the paper produced by the folks over at Google, Attention is All You Need, which really was the, I guess, the genesis for really supercharging natural language processing or generative AI in general, has changed the game. Now, it's 2017. Chat GPT, which, again, reached 100 million users in two months, was the first wave of the tsunami that made landfall. By that, I mean is that that's the first wave that hit. Now, it's moving inland. That means people are going to start using it, and a lot of jobs are going to start going away slowly but surely. Again, nothing's going to happen overnight, but we're about to see one of the biggest shifts in the job market, and the question is, are we tooled up for those changes? So what can you do? If you're a salesperson especially, right? If you're in selling, you need to learn how to use AI tools to become more effective at selling. I'm not just talking about a tech stack. I'm talking beyond the tech stack. How can you leverage data? Use that information with the help of AI to help you sell more effectively. If you look at the numbers, again, salespeople are spending less time selling and too much time playing with technology. Everything's going to shift because of what's happening now in the market with AI. Your job as a salesperson is going to really depend on how much they really need you, how much of a subject matter expert are you, and soft skills. I'll talk about relationship selling. Soft skills have become that much more important. But here's what I predict will happen. For example, if you're an SDR or BDR, let's just say, let's go with SDR, sales development rep, and you're making calls to set up demos, guess what? I don't think you're going to be needed anymore to make a demo. Why? Because the AI could actually do the demo and have the conversations with the client. Now, again, we can argue about small sales versus large complex sales, and I would agree with you that if it's a complex sale, SDRs are safe. But if it's a simple demo, like how to use a simple software package, guess what? That's going to be AI'd out. If you're in business development, again, you might you run the risk of saying, you know, do I really need these people in my co- company anymore if you're a small business owner? Now, the advantage to small business owners, if I could just stick with the middle right here, small business owners are going to be able to leverage AI and not going to need as many people. In other words, 
they're going to be able to use the technology to sell more effectively, maybe support their customers. Let's talk about customer support. Again, if I can program a robot through machine learning, train it to talk to customers about different SKUs, you know, stop keeping, keeping units, in other words, different items I have in my inventory, and the, the machine knows everything about the product, they're going to be better equipped to actually handle questions from customers. And again, this is going to be all machine driven. So when I look at this number from Goldman Sachs, 300 million jobs globally, 18% of the workforce will be impacted, computerized. This is a big number. So again, I'm going to use the analogy of a tsunami. A tsunami is when there's a big shift in the Earth's plate, right, in the ocean, and it pushes the first big wave up. That big wave may take an hour or two before it hits landfall, right, before it hits the, the shore. And then after that, you got subsequent waves. Chat GPT was that first wave. We're now going to start seeing subsequent waves. And if you don't believe me, just do a little bit of research. The amount of money being invested in AI, AI tools and AI companies has increased. The money being funneled into AI tools is increasing. What we're having or what we're seeing right now is similar to the dot-com you know, era, right? When everybody was buying dot-com companies like it was Matt, it was a big arms race. That's what we're seeing today. It's an AI arms race. That's what we're seeing in the market today. Everybody's building products. And again, the number of companies jumping in, building their versions of AI, again, there's, it's going to be a bloody mess after a while in the first couple of years because a lot of these companies are going to go out of business. And eventually, some people, some companies will survive. The best of the best will survive. Evolution, Darwin at its best. But know this, that unless you know how to leverage the AI tools out in the market to help you do your job more effectively, you're going to be a victim of this big shift. Now, if you're, again, an entrepreneur, for example, leverage the tools. This actually might be an advantage because instead of hiring people, you can now use AI and not have to incur that overhead. So there are some advantages. Our job, when I say our job, your job and my job is to find ways to leverage the AI but not ignore it. Those who know how to use the tool will be more effective. The CEO of um, Stability.ai, uh, Imad Motask, I believe is how you pronounce his last name, he said, AI won't replace humans. Humans who use AI will replace humans who don't. Keep that in mind. The future is all about how do we leverage the tools, but the change is real, the change is coming, the disruption is there, and what we're going to see over the next year or two is quite the, you know, the, the shift in how businesses are formed, how they grow, how they stack it with employees or not, and that right there is going to change how we sell into the market. From a sales perspective, it's going to change how we sell, keeping in mind that the buyer is consistently changing. More and more buyers are wanting to buy direct using the tools available on the market. Think about Amazon. When you go to Amazon, do you want to talk to a salesperson? No. If you can make a buying decision on your own with the information given to you, you'd rather do that than talk to a salesperson. Study after study has shown that a lot of companies, especially like CEOs or CXO at high levels, don't want to talk to salespeople because they feel they don't get any value from the conversation. So why talk to salespeople? But if you're a company right now and you're looking for ways to leverage your business to get ahead of everybody else, not only train people to be better at selling, but maybe you want to shift your attention to how can I get customers to buy easier from me? In other words, what tools, what type of chatbots, what type of tools can I use so when the customer is on their journey to buy a product or a service, when they visit my website, they'll be able to make a buying decision or at least get to the point where they have almost near perfect information and then make a buying decision. So the game is all about leveraging AI to allow buyers to make easier buying decisions. That's the game, name of the game going forward. Keep that in mind. Selling is always going to be important, but at the end of the day, if customers can buy on their own, that's going to be their natural tendency. And on that note, let me know what you think. This is Victor Antonio, always reminding you that selling ain't hard when you know how, but understanding how customers buy is even more important in today's market. Take care.